Today I'm taking a look at mymeet.io. This is a meeting and AI summary platform all in one. It's got a really nice clean dashboard and this is really just designed for meetings. It's not got a lot of extra features that you're not going to use. It does one thing and one thing pretty well actually. It's meetings, that's what it's designed for. So on this dashboard you can see we've got notifications for upcoming meetings, completed bookings, that if you had more meetings booked in, they would appear across here. You can have, they're calling them meeting topics, but basically this is meeting type. So you can set free meetings, paid consultations, and you can adjust the time and the length. You can book in your holidays so that they are blocked out as days. You can see your scheduled availability and you can publish or unpublish your booking page. Depending on the plan you have, you'll have AI minutes and those minutes are used during the meeting to summarize, create action points. I'll show you some of that in a second. So setting up your topics, your, your meeting types when you log in is dead easy. You just head over to the topics page, click add, give it the topic name, sets the duration and you can see it can be as low as 15 minutes, as high as three hours. If you're charging, you can set the currency and then you set the rates. At the time of review, you can enter a PayPal email address. I'm not sure what this one is. It's a UPI ID. Not heard of that one, if you know what that is. And maybe that's the one for you. And there's other payment links available. And the devs have told me that they're gonna be better integrating PayPal so you get a better experience. Once you've set up these topics, they appear on your booking form. The booking form can be customized. It can have your image, you can have your title, uh, you enter all this, it has links down the bottom here, so websites, LinkedIn, but you can add other social media links. And then it's a very simple system. The visitor clicks which one they want and it will take them through the booking process. That will then notify you, it will notify them. There's emails all around to keep you informed what's going on. You can see the bookings in this tab and it will show you uh, the past bookings and this is where you'd access the AI meeting summary. You can also spin up an instant meeting and when you press it, the camera won't work because I'm recording myself now. Uh, but once you've got this up and running, you can share the link and join the meeting. Once you're inside this instant meeting or any meeting, you can control the camera, you can mute yourself as you'd expect, you can screen share. And it's also got this cool whiteboard built in as well so you can you can draw, you can highlight, delete. It's got all this, the standard sort of tools that you might expect uh, if you're doing whiteboard activities. There's also a chat feature if you need to send chat messages and the meetings can be recorded. Now, an important point to make on these recordings is that they are not stored within MyMeet. What happens when you finish recording, it will automatically download it to your computer. If you delete that by mistake, that's it, it's gone. It's, it's not stored within this platform. So this is behind the scenes of the branding page that I showed you before. You can see, you can set the colors, you can set your logo. The social icons though aren't set here. That's in the settings section. I've only set two, but if I entered more, these would all appear with the little icons automatically on your booking page. In terms of integrations, you can link this with your Google Calendar or your Outlook Calendar. You don't have to use their meeting software, you can also link it with Google Meet. And in the settings, you can set your meeting provider as either My Meet or Google. But note this warning here that the meeting transcriptions, AI summary, etc., all the, all the good stuff that this does are only available when you use their meeting platform. One of the things I think works really well is the speed and accuracy of these AI meeting summaries. So you can see I've been playing around with this. So when you click on this, you'll get the AI summary of the meeting and it will give you an overview. And I have to say, this is almost instant. In the tests I've done, it's there straight away. There was no waiting for it to generate. So here it's just giving a general overview. Then it will give you bullet points from the meetings. If there were any action points, they'll be there, which there weren't any in this. It gives you some general metrics. Now I like this, this is showing like your energy level, your interaction level. So you can judge whether the meeting's gone well. If, if the interaction level is low, it means one person's been talking a lot and the other people or person hasn't really been engaging. And you can also get a full transcript. You've got a sentiment filter down here. So positive, negative, neutral. 
Again, this could be very handy if you're doing any kind of sales calls because this will give you a little bit of feedback on how it's gone. One thing I would say is if it's important for you to keep the transcript, there's no option to download this. I guess you'd just have to copy and paste it somewhere. And you'd have to do the same here, really. You could just do with a little um, clicker button to copy these because you're probably going to use these bullet points or action points to send a follow-up email. If you like the look of my meat, it's currently on sale via AppSumo. I'll put my affiliate link down below. Three tiers available. And you can see the main difference is the number of AI minutes available. But then you also get things like the calendar accounts, HD quality to full HD. And then you do get the whiteboard at tier two. Tier two seems to be the sweet spot, I think, because you get all this extra bits and pieces. I was pleased to see a publicly available roadmap. You can see what they've already released and they've got some good stuff incoming. So they're looking at better integration with PayPal. They've got website widgets coming up, Zoom integration, CNAME, collecting via bank accounts, and then they're planning a lot of stuff as well. So you can see T's and C's, MS Teams integration. So there's lots going on and I've had a few discussions with them just over email and they've been very responsive. So I suspect if you've got some good ideas on how this can develop, they'll be very open to your feedback. So if you're interested in getting this deal, I'll put an affiliate link down below. Let me know what you think to it in the comments.